How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'll be showing you how to add badges to your HTML buttons using some CSS, all right? So right here we have the final product. We have this get started button with the badge in the top right corner. And this of course is going to float above the button as you're seeing it right now. And you can add whatever text you want inside there, including numbers. Now you may want to use something like this uh, to indicate to your user that, for example, there's something new, like a new feature, or potentially even in the case of like a list of notifications, you can add a number there to indicate how many items there is in some sort of list. So of course, many use cases for this, we're gonna be starting from scratch to create what I just showed you in this tab right here. Now, going inside the text editor, it is currently an empty index.html page. So let's begin with the code. So right here, we're gonna be creating a new div with a class of button button dash wrapper. So this is going to wrap uh, both the button element and the badge element. Okay, so both of those are going to be their own elements. Now you technically um, could do this using CSS only, I believe, but you know, using uh, pseudo elements like after and things like that. But I think for the most part, it's probably going to be simpler in terms of the implementation and changing that value if you do it using an HTML element. So let's create a new button here with a type of button. And we're also going to be giving this a class of button. Of course, these class names are going to be up to you. You may even want to get more specific with your wrapper to say button with badge wrapper or something along those lines. But I'll keep it as button dash wrapper for simplicity. Inside here, we're going to say getting, uh, sorry, get started. Now, you know, I'm writing out this button here and I'm going to be styling it soon, but maybe you guys already have your own styled button and you just care about the badge. If that's the case, take your existing button, put it inside the wrapper like this and also add your badge element, which I'm going to be doing right now. So let's make a new span here with a class. Uh, with a class of button dash badge. Inside here, you're gonna put your text. For example, new. Okay, so this here is all we need for the HTML. A wrapper, the button, and the badge itself. So we're gonna be using some CSS positioning to position the badge in the top right corner of the button. So let's go inside the CSS style sheet and begin work uh, to do that now. So. Let's begin by targeting the body, giving it a margin of 25 pixels. This here is just for the video, so uh, you know there's going to be some space for the badge to appear in the top. If I didn't do this, then uh, we risk the badge going off the screen. So this may not be required for you, is, is uh, what I'm trying to say. We can now target the button dash wrapper class, and for this one, we're going to be applying three properties. First off, a position of relative. Applying this position to the parent of the badge allows it to be positioned relative to the parent. So more on this later, but it's very important you have this here. Otherwise, the badge is going to appear in the top right corner of the page, most likely. Okay, also a font size of 16 pixels. This here is just to set the standard font uh, size for this wrapper, including the button and the badge. So we're gonna be basing all of our font sizing on this base font size, and also a width of fit content. This here is going to ensure that as the value suggests, the width of the wrapper is gonna be equal to whatever the width of the button is inside of it. So speaking of that button, let's target it with a class of button and give it some styles. We're gonna say padding eight pixels top bottom, 12 pixels left and right, border radius of four pixels. All of this here is gonna be up to you guys, of course. Giving it also a border of zero, an outline of none, a box shadow of zero, zero, five pixel RGBA, zero, 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 and a 25% opaque uh, black as the blur there. Also a background of a very light gray, FA, FA, FA. A few more properties here, then I'm gonna show you guys the results in the browser. Give this a color of a dark gray, so triple three. A font family of Inter and then Sans Serif. Again, up to you guys what font you wanna use here. 
Importantly though, gonna be setting a font size of one EM. So one EM means one multiplied by the current font size, which in this case is 16 because the current font size is derived from the parent of this button, which of course in the HTML is the case. So that's why we get that one times 16. Other words, font size of 16 pixels. And lastly, a cursor of pointer to indicate to the user that yes, this thing can be clicked on. I'll save this, go in the browser here, and we get something like this, okay? So very similar to, of course, this example, but there is no badge. Uh, but yeah, so we're, so we're making good progress so far. Uh, we need to now, of course, move the badge to the top right corner as opposed to being placed next to it. Also worth noting that at the moment, if we inspect this and hover over the wrapper, the wrapper width includes the span. When we use a position of relative, or sorry, a position of absolutes, and we position it in the top right corner, you'll see that the width of the button does not include that span, which is going to uh, make it convenient if you have multiple buttons stacked together, for example, within a navigation bar or something like that. Okay, anyway, going back inside the CSS, let's now target the button dash badge class. And for this one, we're gonna be giving this firstly a position of absolute and a top of negative 15 pixels. This here is gonna position the badge aligning with the top of the button, but subtracting 15 pixels, meaning a little bit higher than the button. I think I might have said badge just then. What I meant to say was positioning the badge in alignment with the button. So yeah, negative 15 just means 15 pixels north or higher than the top of that button. Also a left here, and this is where it gets a little bit more complicated, but it's not, too, it's, it's, uh, it's not too bad. Give this a left value of calc, then 100% minus 10 pixels. This just means start at the left of the button, so in the top left corner right here, and position the badge 100% across the button, okay? So at, at this edge now, on the right side, then subtract 15, or sorry, 10 pixels. So go back 10 pixels. This just pushes the badge to the right side, but 10 pixels still in the button, giving us this tiny overlap. Now, there is padding applied here, which explains why it's more than 10 pixels, but the point is, yeah, you're gonna have that 10 pixels uh, offset, you can avoid that if you use padding, it's up to you really. But yeah, I'm gonna set a 10 pixel offset there. Also giving this a text wrap of uh, no wrap to ensure that the text you put inside here, if it gets too large, it's going to uh, not wrap on a new line and stay in a single line, which is probably ideal for badges and things like that. Let's also give this a color of white and a background of hash 009578, that is my decode green color. I'm gonna stop right here and go back in the browser and we get this, okay? Fantastic, so it's looking pretty good so far. Now, I do want to uh, quickly uh, mention that if I was to get rid of this position of relative up here in the wrapper, save this back in the browser, the badge is now in the top right corner, so yeah, we can see the results of not having a relative position on the parent, and that's why it's required. So now moving forward, I'm gonna be adding some padding. We're gonna say a padding of four pixels top bottom and six pixels left and right for the badge and a border radius of four pixels, as well as a font family of inter once again, uh, just like this. You may wish to have a multi uh, selector rule set so button and badge with a with the same font family if you wish. Uh, you can't set the font family inside the parent because uh, it works for the badge, but the button gets overwritten with the default browser, sans serif font. So we have to specify it twice here. Uh, we're gonna also give this a font size of 75% of the, of the base font size or the current font size and a font weights of bold optionally up to you and a user select of none to ensure that the user is unable to start highlighting the badge. 
back in the browser and we get our final product. So that is how to create a badge uh, on top of your buttons using HTML and CSS. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.